What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Adrenaline Motorsports and RCs, and I got a box today. Um, in this box, we got a new kit that we are going to be working on. So, let's get this box open, and uh, let's get this box open <laughs> and start on this thing. <clears throat> So, I'm excited. All right, guys, we got a new car. Check that out. We got the 99 Monte Carlo Subaru Impreza. Um, so basically, the main reason why, uh, here we go. So TTO2 by Tamiya. Um, a lot of people call it Tamiya. I call it Tamiya. So anyway, a lot of people have uh, been doing this chassis. Um, I kind of wanted to get something else, but for the price range that I got this at, I couldn't beat it. So, um, yeah, this is going to be my new uh, rally car. Uh, if you guys saw in my last video, I'll put up a link up here. Um, you know, I have my Evo, but it's a TT01, and I kind of do not want to ruin that body. Uh, I've been looking around for that body, and that body is just so hard to come by. So, I kind of... Um, I'm still going to use it, but not use it as much. Uh, I have already cracked that body, and I've done the uh, <laughs> I've done the uh, the body thing that you can with the shoe goo and the uh, paint wall tape, uh, the wall mesh tape. So I've already done that to it, but I don't want to damage that body more than what it has been damaged. And uh, the TT01 chassis is just. Great chassis, but it's um, just kind of hard to find parts for. So I kind of want to go a little different and uh, come up with times, man. So let's open this bad boy up. All right, so here we go. Let's pull this out. And... Let's see what we got. All right. Well, since I opened it sideways, since I opened it sideways, everything already started coming out. So there we go. As you guys see, here's the uh, the body, uh, Subaru 22B, which um, I actually really, really, really love the Subaru body. <clears throat> really really like this Subaru body this is one body that I have always liked this is one body that I have always liked always liked this body so let's set this to the side <clears throat> now this kit does this kit does come this kit does come with the uh, motor and an ESC. So let's open up this bag first. And dump it. Alright, so we got the Torque Tune, to me a Torque Tune 540 motor. Uh, whatever turn this is, I'm not sure. You got your 540 motor, torque tune 540 Tamiya motor with the uh, gearing. And of course it brings you instruction manuals on everything. You also get some oils. Here's a RC parts bag. Uh, this is the A. So as you guys can see here, you got some oil, you got some grease. Um, I forget what the hell that's called, but anyway. Oh, that's the motor. That's the motor mount <clears throat> gasket. 
and you got a couple screws, you get another gearing, you get another gear in here also. If you guys can see it right there, you get another gear, put that to the side. Now, of course, Tamiya being notorious, sending out these plastic, these right here are actually metal, uh, but as you guys can see, sending these plastic bearings. Yeah, these, um, that's what we're gonna do with those. Because I picked these up. So I will be using straight ball bearing ball bearing for the build. Uh, what else we got? We have all the gears in here. This right here is your differential screws and body clips. Servo saver and your uh, steering mechanisms. Now in here you have part B bag. Parts B, it has everything in there with the uh, sponge, the wheel hex, uh, screws, and some springs. Put that to the side. Now you have your C parts bag, which very nicely brings you a cover for your on off switch. A couple screws, a couple more body uh, pins, clips and some zip ties if you guys can take a look at that there and here we have the tub chassis which that'll be i can't wait to get this thing started <clears throat> here we have more parts so we do have diff covers um and everything that you need uh makeshift want to be supposedly brake rotors if you guys can see that right there i don't know how well this lighting is uh what else we got so this one you have your suspension this back here you have all your suspension arms upper arms lower arms your uh tubing right here i don't know if you guys can see that or not but your tubing right here for the for the suspension, your caps for the suspension over here. You can't really see that, but it's there. Uh, what else? So apparently what they want us to do is paint the body blue because the spoiler comes blue. Here is motor mount. You got your motor mount here. Um, blah, 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 blah. You got your ESC cover, hex, a whole bunch of stuff there. And here we have the drive setting system. All right. And this is everything that you need there. They also bring you the wheels and tires yes tires so what else we got in the box this is everything else we got in the box so this is the four wheel drive rally car tto2 chassis instruction manual like everybody has said the instruction manual for the tamiya's tamiya does a great job with the instruction manuals telling you how everything goes Get like that <laughs> tells you how everything goes and everything and uh how not to uh botch up the car um so here this one is gonna be the stickers just goes on and on and on the masking tells you where to put the stickers and everything um let me know down in the uh Comments below if I should put the stickers on, if I shouldn't. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I should put the stickers on, if I shouldn't put the stickers on. Uh, to make it look uh, a little sleeker without the stickers on. Again, this is going to be my other rally car. Um, because my TTO1, like I said, the TTO1 is just hard to find parts. And uh, 
it's a TTO one chassis. I gotta move on into the uh, the new chassis that are out. So TTO two it is. Let's uh, continue with this. Uh, what else we got? So here we go. This is the book. Tells you everything. I know it's upside down. And here we have our stickers. Everything that we need, sticker wise, for the car. Let me know if I should put these on in the comment section. Just down below. Let me know. Um, now, in the one bag, I showed you guys where the suspension and everything is, but we're not going to use that. We're using Yeah Racing suspension for this application I do believe these are 60 millimeters um, I'm not I don't really remember but I believe these are 60 millimeters so yeah 55s I'm sorry these are 55 millimeter shocks for this truck of this car and the awesome thing, if you look at it, is blue, which is going to look really nice with the uh, with the chassis. All right, so let's go on ahead and uh, start putting this thing together. So the first thing it's telling you to do, and I'm already going to need these. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is bag A. So the first thing we're going to do, from what they're saying, is bag A. Um, let's open this thing up. Set the chassis to the side there. And pull all that out. Here is a grease that they send us. And they send us more, a little bit of grease here. More to me grease. Oh, this is the anti-wear grease, and this is the other grease. Anyway, what they want us to do already is start on the gearing for the um, attaching the propeller shaft and everything. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we need this one and this one. So let's get this bad boy out also and we'll set this to the side right there and we will grab the ball bearings here there we go Send off stickers. All right, so from what I'm seeing, the bearings we're going to be using are going to be these right here, which is going to go onto here. Of course, in the instruction manual, it does say to grease this up. So I probably will throw a little bit of grease on here. Or I probably won't. All depending what I feel like doing. So we're gonna jam that in there like that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of grease and just throw some. That's not the grease he wants to put on there. So we'll throw this bearing on there. There's one. Grab another bearing. There is two. So we got both bearings in. Now we need the gears.
So we're going to need this gear right here. <coughs> and they're actually both the same size, if you guys see. They are the exact same size here. The other thing I want to do is clean this up a bit. gear and go in there which this pin which this with this pin right here we're gonna have that pin and we're gonna put it right there oh and that'll basically lock right in there all right now the other end <clears throat> I'm going to grab GB2 which I believe is one of these <laughs> to sit in the chassis so this is going to go in here along this side wait that's the wrong gear no nope, that's the right gear like that and don't forget your bearings guys do not forget your bearings like I just did This bad boy is not going in there like that. Oh, here it is. All right, so I forgot to grab this part. Okay, so we'll move that out of the way. So what I forgot to do was basically that bearing goes in there. This piece goes right there, which then the fly spur gear will Spur gear is supposed to go in there, but the spur gear is not going in there. So this goes like so. This actually holds. Now I see. Okay. Okay, now I see. So the 
this actually has, if you guys see that right there, it has an indentation. That is where this pin right there, that's where that pin sits. So it basically locks it all up. And there it is. Exactly, it locks it up. I'll go like that. This will go like that. This gearing, spur gear, will come right in there like so. That will go right in there. And this goes there. And there's our prop shaft is complete. Throw the prop shaft right in here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Prop shaft is now complete. So now we go to the next page. And on this page here, it's going to tell us how to do the diff, the differential, what to do, how to do it, how to put it together, and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So we'll set this to the, the chassis to the side for right now. And we are going to, we are going to be working on the differential. So for the differential, we're actually going to need part G. Uh, part G, we're going to need G1 right here. This is G1 uh, right there. I'll put it up there so you guys can see it. And we are going to need G2, which are these two pieces Right there, these are G2. If I can get it out. G2. And apparently we need eight of these. Which is for the front and for the rear. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna work on both differentials right now. Alright. So let me work on one diff. Alright. So that's trash. That's no good no more. So we're going to get this or this one, doesn't matter. It looks like it doesn't matter which one you get here. Just get one of those and basically start putting all of this together. I'm sorry that this is black and you guys can't really see. So let me do this. Hopefully this will be able, you guys be able to see better with everything that I got. So now I'm just trying to put the diff together. Four. All right, so that is together, the web. Do what we're gonna do is this piece here. You want to make sure that the sides are nice and flush. So that way, when you put it in the diff housing, it's not going to be going everywhere. So we'll throw that 
right in there like so. Hopefully you guys can see it. Oh, my, never mind. Well, it was in there. There you go. Now hopefully it's in there. You guys can see it's in there. <laughs> All right. Now that we did that, we're gonna grab the diff and there we go put that all in together like so you guys can see hopefully you guys can see it's all in there now we want to grease this up What I like doing is, let me get one of these. There we go. Put that in there for right now. And start greasing this up. Just start turning it. There we go. That one's nice and done. Now, after we do that, we are going to grab this one, the other gear. Throw a little more gear grease on this. And toss this bad boy right in there and there it is put all this together and we have one differential done now they want to grab four of these MA5 screws we got four of those screws screwdriver and start putting all this together now the other thing I also like doing is the other thing I also like doing with this Is I will not go around in a circle like this to screw the admin. I will go from this one to this one up here, this one here, and then that one. And there we have it. That's one diff done. Let me go ahead and do the other one and be back with you now all right so we got both differentials done as you guys can see here and we are now getting ready to put them in the chassis the front and rear so let's grab the new bearings that we got here nice metal bearings if you guys can see that there we're going to need one here one there, throw that one in the back, this one here, and this one here, throw this one in the front, and boom, we got working gears back here, nice, very excited about that, very excited about that. 
don't know if I want to mix those two together because I don't know. All right, so now that we got that done, we need the differential housing. So we need right now, it says A4. A4 is this piece here. And we are going to need both of them. So this one, as you guys can see, maybe not. But it also says A right there. So this is A4. We need that one too. Put these to the side. And we can actually start putting these covers on. Now be careful because if you guys don't really notice, these two pieces here have to be facing the front like so. And then on the front, these have to be facing in. Let's put it this way. These two covers have to face the these two right here. That, these two, have to face inside towards the chassis. So that... Excited about that. Good. So now we need this bag. MA2. We need MA2 screws. So what we can do to see what type of screws they are, the MA2s. Oh, maybe not. Here we go. So if you're not really sure which screws are which, it does tell you it came in the A bag, one through 16, and the MA2s. And these are the actual sizes of these screws themselves. So we don't lose that page. Let's open this up here. And now we get to match and see which screws are the ones that we need, which I believe are these here. And we can just put them up there. And that's the one right there. So we need one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight of these. Eight of those, which we are going to put one, two, on the chassis, all right, so those four, one of the screws fell down there, so let's go on ahead and start tightening this up. Usually I wouldn't recommend using a drill for plastic. If you do use a drill on this type of plastic, guys, uh, just be cautious. This is why I'm kind of using this Ryobi uh, Tech 4. This drill is awesome. That's why I'm kind of using this drill because it does have the torque, but it also, when it gets too much torque for it, it actually... Um, basically kind of stop but again use your best judgment guys when you're using this tool on a car like this that you do not want to strip anything in here so there we go. Something's missing here in the front, I believe. I don't know what it is, but I just have a feeling something here is missing in the front. I think I missed something. Um, I'm missing two pieces here, a D2 and a D15 that basically goes right here. So the two parts that I forgot to put in here are actually this one here, which is this piece, 
and this one. D15. So right there are two parts that I forgot to grab. <clears throat> now I gotta take this cover back off. And now I'm gonna take the propeller shaft off, the prop shaft, which this is gonna slip right in there. The prop shaft, slide this prop shaft back in where the spur gear is. And all right, now what screws MA2s? Let's flip back to where we were. I gotta put those back. Alright, now this little cover goes like so. Two more of these MA2 screws over top of the bearing and hold the prop shaft in place. Right. That feels really good. All right, so that's done. That covers are done. 